Daniela Gabrielle. What up, transitioners? It's been such a long time since we talked, but I am so glad to talk to you guys tonight because I have great news to share with you. First of all, if you're wondering where the heck are you and what is that that's always behind you, I just want to tell you, welcome to my vision wall. And so I just believe that we should all be inspired to live the life that we love. And so I use vision boards in order to be able to motivate myself that I can begin to visualize the vision that I have and where I'm going and what's next. And so, um, I just had a pretty big vision, so I decided to take a whole wall and do it. So this is just part of the wall. So I enjoy standing in front of my wall when I talk to you guys because you are part of my vision. You are part of the things that I'm believing that I can do, which is making an impact in your life and helping you transition, whether it's in business, whether it's in school, whether it's just in life in general. If you're trying to go from one place to the next place in your life and you need help with transitioning, that's my vision is to be able to help you to get to that new place, to help you change transition and emerge. So I just figured I'd tell you that because you know a lot of people are always like what is all that stuff going on in the back of your wall? This is what keeps me motivated and keeps me moving. So let's get back to why am I talking to you tonight. I am talking to you tonight because I got the most exciting thing in the mail today. It is my t-shirt prototype. Yes! And you can hear all the noise going on in the background. Yeah. All the cheers. Woo! I don't really have like a, you know, a little sound thing. So we'll just go with the automatic cheers. Anyway, I just want you to join in with me as I celebrate. I am excited. Just like I have all these things on here. Actually, Fly Free is one of the things that is back on my board. It was one of the visions that I've had for about a year and a half. And so I'm just excited to have actually see the first set of what my t-shirt is going to look like. Um, and so I just wanted to show it to you guys and see what do you think? Do you like it? I want to do some more stuff with it. I want to have some different kinds, but you got to start where you are and grow into where you're going. Um, I've got some bling shirts that will be coming out on the way. And so we're pulling it all together so that we can release it soon. And so I just wanted to share that with you and let you know that we are working so hard and so diligently um, to get things ready for you guys. And so I also want to share, I got something else in the mail. Bam. It is the mug. I love it. If you know me, and if you don't know me, you'll get to know me today. I'm not a coffee drinker. I don't really like coffee, but I love tea. That is the East Coast in me. That's where you find out that the Pennsylvania person just starts to come up and rise out. So I love hot tea. A little bit of hot tea in the morning. You know, some English breakfast tea with a little bit of milk and sugar. Love it. And so I thought that this was a great way to start your day. So as you start your day, meditating, reading, um, focusing on the word, praying, however you start your day, you should start it in a very positive manner. And so I thought that it would be exciting to have a mug that reminds you of what you're doing. That's right, flying free. And it has a message that's really cool. And it says, cheers to freedom, no longer a caged bird. And in the book, I talk about how I realized that I felt like a caged bird, you know, kind of like a parrot. Parrots are pretty, they're cute, but they're told what to do. They say what other people say. They just repeat after other people people. They, they live to be a showpiece. And I realized that I didn't want to live to be a showpiece anymore. The only person's great craftsmanship that I wanted to be was the Lord. And I wanted to get out of that cage and I wanted to fly and I wanted to soar and I wanted to see the dreams that were in my heart come to pass. That's what that book is about. How to get the courage to even get started. You know, like you have dreams, you have ideas and you kind of just write them down and you put them over there and you're like, yeah, one day. But how do you get past that one day? How do you get up enough courage to say, you know what? I'm actually going to do this. I'm actually going to go all the way through with it. That's what Fly Free is about. It's about that story and about that process. And so I'm excited that these will be things that you'll be able to purchase. T-shirts, mugs, and all kinds of other stuff. I also um, wanted to just kind of show with you. I'll be right back. Told y'all I'd be right back. All right, I want to share with you these note cards. These are really cool. And they say a message of hope from DG. And so one of the things that I wanted to do is as you order a t-shirt, if you order a cup, um, what you're going to find is there will be a personal note from me just encouraging you and giving you a little bit of hope to help you along your process. Because this is a process. It's a journey. And it's a journey that I want to partner with you on as you partner with me. And so I'm excited. And so there's some more things that we're working on. Really, really, really working hard behind the scenes to make this thing happen. If you want to know what's up with the book, I am over halfway through. Manuscript is almost done. We're pushing out like the end of the book now so we can get into editing and get everything finalized and ready. And so 
it's definitely coming. We're really pushing. Hopefully, we can have it out for you by December. So that's the goal. We're really working hard to get it there um, so that you can have it. So I'm going to ask those of you guys who have been praying that if you'll just continue to pray and continue to encourage me as I encourage you because we are going to live the life that we love, not the life that was been handed to us, but the life that we love. We're going to live our passions. We're going to live our goals. We can do that. You can do that. I can do that. We can do that. And I'm so excited. So I just wanted to share that with you and I just want you to celebrate with me. Uh, we have to celebrate our small wins. And so this is a small win for me, just getting started, just being able to see what it looks like and, and imagine it and envision it on other women and um, seeing other people walking around with a fly free on them. And so I'm excited about all the things that are happening in your life, in my life. This is just a season of greatness. I want um, to encourage those of you all who uh, feel like you're kind of midway of a transition. Usually in the middle, it gets a little tough. It gets a little hard. It's the place where you're most vulnerable and you're wanting to give up. So that middle towards the end is, is when it really gets tough and you have to keep reminding yourself of the end goal. So if you're in school right now and it's midterm time and you're getting towards the end of the semester and you're getting tired, I want to say keep pushing, keep pressing. You can get through it. Every semester you're getting closer to that degree. Every semester you're getting close to that thing that you've been dreaming about, that you've been hoping for, that you've been imagining. Greatness is on the other side of this if you'll just press through. I say same thing for anybody else who is out there and you're saying, I'm trying. I'm trying, DG. I'm trying to go after my dreams. I'm trying to live my life on purpose. I'm trying to do that thing. And you might seem tired. You might seem like you're losing energy. But today, I just want you to be encouraged to know that there is an end that is greater than the pain that you have right now. Just keep pushing. Just keep, I mean, just keep pushing. You can do this. You can do it. There are people on the other side that are waiting for that which you have. Your dream is not just for you. Your dream is for those around you. Just like you're waiting for me to finish this book. Somebody is waiting for you to do the thing that you've been saying, I'm going to do, I'm going to do, I'm going to do for years and years and years. Someone is waiting on you. So I want you to be encouraged and I want you to put your hand back to that assignment. Get back on that computer. Start typing. Start working. Get on the phone. Whatever you need to do. Whatever you put down, pick it back up. Let's keep pushing. And so I love you guys. Oh, big old hug all the way from Louisiana. I cannot wait till the next time that we talk. Leave me some comments below. Let me know what's going on in your world. How can I encourage and inspire you and keep you moving? So let me know what you're working on. I'm letting you know what I work on. So let me know what you're working on. Best souls from the book. We'll talk to you later. It's Daniela Gabrielle, where I'm helping you change, transition, and emerge.